For nearly three years, the most powerful nations on Earth have enforced a fragile peace in one of the bloodiest places on Earth, the killing fields of Bosnia. But in that time, they have failed to capture one of the chief architects of that slaughter, Radovan Karadzic, the former Bosnian Serb president, warlord of a war that shocked the world. Now he stands accused of genocide as a war criminal responsible for the murder of thousands of civilians. Tonight, as the net closes ever tighter around him, Frontline asks, who is Radovan Karadzic? Where did he come from? How did he become the most wanted man in the world? until only one side is under pressure, only Serbian side is under pressure. The accused Karadzic and Vladic are charged with participation in crimes against humanity and genocide. inter-religious and inter-ethnic war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And there are many atrocities on both of sides. It would be justified to say that the higher up the chain of command that we go, the higher the degree of responsibility for the atrocities which were ultimately executed by the common soldier on the ground. Let it be known that what the prosecution really wants to do is to try the accused for the crimes alleged against them here in this courtroom in the Hague. Molim vas da se ozbiljno shvatite. Ovo nije dobro što vi radite. Ovo je put na koji vi hoćete da izvedete Bosnu i Hercegovinu. Ista ona autostrada pakla i stradanja kojom su pošli Slovenija i Hrvatska. Nemojte da mislite da nećete odesti Bosnu i Hercegovinu u pakao, a muslimanski narod možda u nestanak. Doctor, at that moment, in this one sentence, all the evil burst out of him. Had you received any orders with regard to what you were supposed to do with civilians that you encountered in the city of Srebrenica? Yes, we have been told not to touch them. Milorad Pelemish. Milorad Pelemish, he told us. Were those orders followed in respect to this, uh, this young man who was about 30 years old? No, Milorad Pelemish ordered another man to kill that man. <laughs> and did Zoran obey Lieutenant Pelemish's order? Da. Yes. Yes. He slit his throat. Uh, 
Ne mogu se simrti. Ja znam, mislim, moje djete koje je uzeto kotičarima. Kuru iz ruku moji je uzeto. Hoći da zna onaj četni što ga je uzeo, gdje ga je ostavio. On zna, a dugo je priko šume što se ga išlo, jeste nije se znao. Zna s onim kotičarima što su ostali. Što je uzeo, a zna i ono što me ufati u šumi i govorio u kotičarima. Eno ga kod njega, a nema ga danas dao. Gdje je? Čovjeka smo ubili, znao makar gdje. Ajde delamo slobodno, ja sam ko Srbo, svi ajte koliko vas gledimo. Mr. Demovic, I'd now like to turn your attention to the 16th of July and ask you whether on that day you and other soldiers in your unit received orders to participate in a special detail. Da. Yes. Do you want to go? How do you want to go? Let's go. 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 Mr. Adamovich, I'm going to ask you if you recognize what is depicted in each of these photographs. Da. Yes. It is the farm where we were taken by this colonel in the locality called Pilica. Hoću da znam, samo djesnim djeca, ne treba mi ništa više, ima fana. To hoću. I kad ćemo nego ni da proglazimo mrtve, kad nisu mrtve. Nisu svi mrtve, ne mogu biti svi mrtve. And did he say what you and the members of your unit were supposed to do regarding those Muslims from Srebrenica? Yes. What did he say? Da, treba te ljude da sriljamo. Yes, that we had to execute those people to shoot them. Osuđujemo i mi, srebeničke žene. O njemu ne bi trebao bolji hak da mi ga živa raskinemo evo svoju majku i sestru. I mladić i karadžić. Da mi njima osudimo i rasudimo. Toto bi mi bila želja u životu, pa nek umrem su treda on. Can you estimate, Mr. Ademović, how many civilians were killed by your unit and members of the Bratnač unit on the 16th of July? Negdje. Somewhere about 1,200. I don't know. I estimated the number according to the buses. Spy satellite photographs today provided compelling evidence of systematic executions by Bosnian Serbs. On July 13th, an American spy satellite passed over. Muslim civilians are free to stay or to leave. The terrorist elements may cause further troubles, but uh, people, uh, civilians, as well as UN personnel are completely safe and secure. Simply, our army is very, very responsible.